Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, if you can't tell, we're going to be doing my wax empties. The basket was getting kind of full, so I thought it was time to go ahead and empty it and share with you guys what I have been warming. Um, I think I've done an okay job kind of getting through some things, so I definitely want to share with you guys what has been going on in my house. All right, let's just get into it. Let's find some room here. Oh, oh, no. Oh. Yep. Dropping items. Okay, that's okay. I'll pick it up later. Okay, first is actually something that I have in the warmer right now. And this is by Ava's Country Cupboard. This came in some paw prints. As you can see, I purchased this last October. And this is called I Dream in Pink. You guys, this is phenomenal. It is so strong. I could smell this outside of my house. Like, the front door was shut. I went to go um, do a drop-in for a client came home and I could smell it as I was walking up the stairs to the front door. Crazy. <laughs> it's so good. So I Dream in Pink is, has maple sugar, raspberries, I think it has musk. It reminds me a lot of pink sugar with a hint, with not a hint, there is, there's a heavy dominant note of maple in here. But it's not a bad maple. It's not thick and syrupy. It's so, so good. I love this. So if I see I Dream in Pink, I'm definitely picking it up. Highly recommend. You have to like maple, though. I know some people don't like maple. Okay, next I have Baby Shark from Jim's Daughter's Jim's Daughter Crafts. I always say that wrong. This is a blend of Salty Sea Air and Cotton Candy. This was a phenomenal Salty Sea Air blend. I don't know what Salty Sea Air oil she uses specifically, but it's so, so good. And this is from her Salty Sea Air sampler. Um, and everything just throws phenomenally from that sampler. It smells so good. It, it My whole house smells like this. It's so good. So I had to um, bust out another one from the same sampler to cover like all my warmers in my house. And I picked... California Girls and it's Salty Sea Air and Pink Sugar. So it's just in these little scent shot cups here. I cut them into thirds and just that size there. Oh, so good. I think I think I liked the pink sugar a hint more than the cotton candy blend, but both were phenomenal, both amazing. Just so so good. I still have a few um to work through from that sampler, but oh, highly highly recommend. Okay, I put this in my tea light warmer last night, hoping that I could get a read on it, and it's raspberry jam cornbread from Soul's Inspiration. This is sweet raspberry jam smeared on top of warm cornbread. Unfortunately, I just did not get a throw from this. I don't know why. Um, originally, I had it in front of, well, I had it on, um, like, the stove top, and, um... Yeah, I was like, well, maybe it's just like in in the way or in the same area as where the fan was blowing. So I thought, well, let me just move it. So I moved it to the living room area and I still couldn't smell it. But it may not have been a fair shot because I did have another strong scent going at the same time. So there's that. Next I have the Melted Mousse, and this is Easter Sunday, Downy April Fresh and Sea Salt Blossom. You guys, the scent is phenomenal. I love the Melted Mousse. I wish I had more of her stuff. I do have like a good amount still of my customs, so I'm going to work my way through those, but her scents are phenomenal. The throw is phenomenal. I just, I love everything. I put this in. Um, I've been doing this um, fall cleaning challenge. Um, on Instagram, if you're interested, um, you can message me on um, Instagram, Wax Melts BFF, and I can send you the link. But um, each week, you like work on a different room, and I've been falling behind, so I was still working on my bathroom, literally on my hands and knees, scrubbing the floor and the baseboards, and I had this scent going. Oh, it just it was so good, and it helped motivate me to keep cleaning too. I think I spent three hours in the bathroom, and I'm not done. I mean, I still. I just, I took a lot of time to really deep clean, not just surface clean, deep clean the entire bathroom. So, still working on things in there. Um, but yeah, I'm happy to have had some motivation this week, and I think that scent did help me. Um, next, we have Empire Alchemy Sea Mist and Lavender, Clean Misty Ozone and Fresh Lavender. This scent wasn't super strong. It was like a nice breath of, like, not fresh air, but it was like, it was pleasant. 
If it was stronger, I probably would order it again, but the throw just was kind of mediocre to low. So that was unfortunate. Okay, and as you guys know, I've been pulling wax into my melting baskets that are like a year old. And you guys, I'm having really great success um, with all the melts that I've been pulling. Um, this one's Savannah Blue, and it's zombie cookies. This is zucchini bread, cookie dough, and sugar cookies. This one was great. It was fantastic. I didn't get any, like, corn chippy weird note. Oh, and if it, I mean, it, there maybe been, like, a hint of, like, a savoriness to it, but not spicy. Just really good and delicious and delectable. And it was pretty strong. It was probably, like, a 7 out of 10. It was really good. Next, I have Lourdes Apothecary's Elephant Ears. Oh, this is so, so good. Highly recommend. I don't know if she'll come back out with this this year. I'm assuming not. If you did happen to partake in her, um, was it, did she call it a Halloween pre-order? Not the Advent, but the other one that she did. Um, she did a play on this. I think it's called Apple Elephant Ears or Caramel Elephant Ears or something like that. You guys, though, this scent is so good. It's fried dough, cinnamon sugar, and powdered sugar. It threw phenomenally. It was so good. I highly recommend it. I think I still have one of her snap bars. I need to smell this. Oh, it is so good. Oh, I love it. It's not greasy or anything like that. It's incredible. Okay, next we have... Scentsy and it's Candy Crave and this scent is in Raspberry Sorbet Cotton Candy and Fluffy Marshmallow. Um, this does smell really good, I will say. Um, however, the throw was just wasn't there for me. I used the entire clamshell and I probably got like a 3 out of 10 throw. Um, I'm happy that I didn't purchase like a backup of this. I almost did because people were raving about it. But it just didn't perform well for me. So, and you guys, tell me if you are also having issues with your Scentsy bars sweating, which I wouldn't typically be super concerned about. But not only are they sweating, they are a leaking mess. I am having issues with almost every single one of my clamshells. And like, I'm making sure now that they are completely like laying flat like this. So they are not to leak, but I have them in bags. And the bags are now, like, covered in wax oil. Not wax oil. Oil. Fragrance oil. Um, so, I don't know. I'm going to try and use them up quicker. But I really haven't had Scentsy that long. Maybe nine months? Maybe less? So let me know if there's something else I can do. Um, I'm happy that it's getting cooler out, like I said. So maybe that'll help with the longevity of my wax. But... It's very sweaty, and I just feel like for the price of the bar, I shouldn't have to lay it on its back. I shouldn't have to be concerned about it sweating and, like, oil coming out. Like, it's just, it's a little bit frustrating, especially because I can get wax at a cheaper price from vendors that I love, and they don't have any problems like that. So, I'm not sure what's going on there, but it could be definitely user error, so let me know down below. Okay, next is Cocoa Puff. It's a scoopable that I got in a duo, which is why I wrote on the top of it, because the label is on the bag, and I haven't used the other scoopable yet. This is from To The Moon and Back Creations. Oh, this smells so good. This smells just like childhood. It smells like, kind of like hot cocoa and cocoa puffs mixed together. And um, my boyfriend commented on, well, not the scent specifically, but he came in, he said, how come you never bake me cookies? I'm like, what? He's like, yeah, it smells like cookies in here. And I'm just wondering why you never bake me cookies. He says, I went into 7-Eleven and it smelled like cookies. And I come home and it smells like cookies, but there are no cookies. And <laughs> I guess I'm just ultimately failing at this partnership because I don't provide cookies. So if you have a good recipe, let me know. <laughs> okay, um, next I have L3 Waxy Wonders. This was a trig tart that I had. And it's Sparkling Pear Riesling, um, the Bath and Body Works type. This is my all-time favorite candle from, not all-time, but, like, it's one of my top ten favorite candles from Bath & Body Works. It's so good. I love it. It smells just like a Riesling. It smells 
if, if you've never actually drank Riesling before, it smells like an alcoholic beverage, but like fresh pear, but it's not like super, super alcoholic. I don't know how to explain it, but it smells like you just opened a fresh bottle. Oh, it's so good. I love it. So I requested it on her Facebook group to be poured, I believe, in a loaf. If it doesn't, I will be putting that in my custom order, possibly mixed with something else, but maybe not. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Okay, next I have L3 Waxy Wonders, and this was in her Matrix Melt, I think that's what it's called. Mango Dragon Fruit and White Clouds. This one was pretty good. It's not my favorite. It's not a repurchase. It was pleasant. The White Clouds really did help mellow out that mango, which sometimes can be really powerful. Um... I'm not sure if White Clouds is my favorite, like, laundry-type scent, um, but it was nice to have. I used the whole thing, so it was good. It was nice to try. Next, we have Strawberry Tough Cake from Umpire Alchemy, and it's Strawberry Slices, Buttercream, and Vanilla White Cake. I had to look up what Tough Cake was, and I looked it up, and I can't remember what it is. <laughs> I looked it up that night. It was something really bizarre that I've never seen before. Okay, so apparently I got cut off, but what I was saying was that um, I think Tough Cake has something to do more with the design of the cake than it does about the scent, or I'm mean, not the scent, the flavor, because I didn't find anything strawberry about it, I think. Anyways, um, this scent here, it was okay. It did not remind me of strawberry pound cake at all. It was okay. It was like a 5 out of 10 throw, and it was kind of like a boring scent to me, so not a repurchase. Okay, next I have Fluffy Towels Cotton Candy Gummy Bears from L3. This was something that I had come up with, um, I think, springtime. And it smells really good. Um, I think I still have one more puppy pack left of this. So um, I'm not sure if I'll repurchase it only because, I don't know, I don't need any more um, like laundry scents right now. But maybe next spring I'll get it again. Um, okay, so this, yep, okay. We went on vacation and I brought some samples with me and I made sure to bring them back. I think I'm missing one. It's somewhere in here. Is it this one? Yes. Okay. I wanted to grab all three at the same time. So we went, we went to, um, Westport, which is about 30 minutes above Fort Bragg and it was absolutely breathtaking so beautiful. We stayed in this cabin where you could walk out from this property. It was like a 60 acre property. Um, what beautiful history and story behind it all. Anyways, um, walked out of your cabin and within, within less than five minutes, you're on this like three mile strip of private beach. Beautiful. Oh my gosh. The weather was perfect. Anyways, we stayed in this cabin that was called the boathouse and um, it was a cabin built around a boat. So the front bow of the boat was like in the kitchen. It was really unique and kind of scary and creepy at the same time. <laughs> but it was some really great memories that we made. Anyway, so I did bring a tea light warmer this time on our trip because last time my boyfriend made a comment, hey, how come we don't have any fragrance in here? So I made sure to bring one this time and I brought some samples. So these are the samples that I um, used in our cabin while we were there. The first one I had put in was Berry Scoops from Southbound, and this is Raspberry Jam, Sweet Strawberry Ice Cream, and Cotton Candy. This one was so strong. This was so strong. It performed so well. I had to put it out, though. This is probably not a scent I will purchase. It was definitely nice to try. It definitely has this very strong raspberry scent, almost a little bit blackberry very juicy, but almost a little bit perfumey. So not super like bakery. Um, it was good. So strong though. I had to put it out. It was incredible. <laughs> so if you're looking for a scent like that, next I put in Wicked Essence Strawberry Pound Cake, and this did not remind me of the Bath and Body Works type, which it doesn't say it is. Um, this was a lot, um, this was more of like an artificial strawberry to me and a lot lighter of a scent. It was not like a pound cake at all. 
it's it was more like a white fluffy cake um not my favorite strawberry pound cake scent but it is nice and softer and lighter so um maybe in the springtime i would repurchase this and then the last scent that i had used was ava's country cupboard caramel drizzled bear claw holy schmoly this was a powerhouse it was so strong it definitely smelled like a like breakfast dessert just like dipped and drenched in caramel like strong caramel <laughs> so um yeah everything performed super well in the tea light warmer so not sure if i might purchase a small small piece of that one but it's very very strong caramel Okay, next we have is something that I was very surprised about. This is something that she included in my box when I made a purchase. This is from Soul's Inspiration. This is not something I would have picked up myself. This is called All I Do Is Laundry. It's cotton candy, gain type, and satsuma. Now, I am not a super orange citrus satsuma person specifically orange scents i feel like they're just like overly sweet but satsuma also kind of seems to do something physically like makes me kind of nauseous however i wanted to give this one a chance because in the bag i actually thought it smells really really nice cotton candy gain and satsuma and you guys this is my first like satsuma love okay um, this was so good. I loved it. It was incredible. I think that the gain in cotton candy added enough of sweetness and a little bit of like an astringent cleanness to it to where it just like made this absolutely beautiful blend. Now I did ask if she could pour this and I think she got busy so um, she wasn't able to. I'm gonna have to ask her again. She said to remind her if she forgot so I forgot to remind her. <laughs> Um, so I need to go back and ask her to pour some more of this because it's incredible. It's so, so good. So highly recommend it. And it was very, very strong. Okay. Next we have L3 Waxley Wonders and Enchanted Pears, Freshly Sliced Pears and Creamy Bakery. This one I picked up last fall. I had used a couple pieces from it in my bedroom. I specifically remember and I did not... Did not like it. Sorry, I have something in my eyes, so I'm just like rubbing my eyes raw. What the heck? Okay, so, but I kept it. I didn't pass it on to anybody, and I just thought, you know what? Let's try it again. Pulled it back out. It does smell okay. I don't, there's nothing specifically wrong with it. It's just, I don't think it's my fragrance. Sparkling Pear Riesling, that's my fragrance. Enchanted Pears, me, not so much. Um, it didn't make me feel nauseous like the, the first time I melted it, so I think it's good to always give something a second try, unless, like, you're really, like, not okay with the scent. <laughs> um, another scent from L3 in Lemongrass Cotton Candy Salty Sea Air. This is another, um, custom request that I had put up, um, in her Facebook group, and you guys, this is so amazing. I think I have one bag left. So good. Definitely a scent that I would probably put in my customs, Although I might wait till next year when she does customs again because I probably won't use it until springtime. So I guess there's no reason for me to get more right now. But highly recommend. It's so beautiful. I think the lemongrass could be a little bit stronger. But I love the blend of all three together. It's so, so beautiful. Okay, next is Rose Girls You Need to Calm Down. And I will say that um, some of these... Some of these cubes in this bag went to a duplicate bag that I had, so I didn't complete this bag fully. Um, you need to calm down. It's like peppermint, or I, peppermint and lavender, I think, and I'm totally getting this wrong. You know what, guys? Let's wait till I finish the other bag to give you my full review because I obviously haven't melted it enough to even remember what the scent notes are. Okay, next I have Get Lit from Empire Alchemy. This is ginger ale, cranberry, champagne toast, and sugared orange. Um, I just told you I hate orange. But this scent, I never really smelled the orange. I loved this last year. It was so good. It threw phenomenally. It just, it smelled like the most delicious, juicy cranberry drink. Um, however, when I melted it this time, my throat was like not there. So, 
I don't know what's going on. I did put it in a different part of the house than I had used it the first time. So maybe it was the warmers that I had it in. But I was kind of bummed because that one was so good last year. Next is a sample from Ava's Country Cupboard in pink lavender cotton candy. Incredible. I love Ava's lavender. All her lavender scents. Oh, they're so good. Um, absolutely delicious. Love it. Definitely would pick up more of that. Okay. We have Scentsy's Strawberry Swirl, and the scent notes on this are Frozen Strawberry Swirl Frothy Milk and Vanilla. Um, this is good. It smells, it smells like a strawberry milkshake. There's a tiny, tiny, like, hint of Play-Doh? Tiny. Um, I thought I would really, really love this one. Like, it was good. It was good. It's, it smelled really good, but not my favorite strawberry. It was yummy, though. I did enjoy melting it. Um, Savannah Blues in Hermie. This is one from last year. It is just in a, It was just in a small tile. Um, let's see. The date is on the back here, and it was from September 21st, 2020. This is soft pretzel, carrot cake, and brown sugar. Man, I was so excited for this scent. I got no throw from it. I was bummed. But you know what? Even when I opened the bag to smell it, it was I could hardly smell anything. So that could have been totally my fault. I probably just missed my opportunity to to melt it. Okay, this is another one of my favorite lavender scents from Ava's, and it's lavender lace. Highly, highly recommend this lavender scent. It's so phenomenal. Oh, it's so good. I melted it in conjunction with that other lavender scent in my bedroom. Amazing. Okay, next is the Melted Mousse, and this was a scent shot cup in Strawberry Mango Culotta. Mango Sorbet, Strawberry Milkshake, and Coconut Milk. This was really nice. It was a little bit heavier on the coconut than I thought it would be, but the mango wasn't super overpowering. I think that the Strawberry Mango went really well together. Probably would pick up like another scent shot cup of it, not much more though, um, next year. Okay, next we have one that my friend Jennifer had sent me in Candy Shop. And this is from Lured Apothecary Rock Candy Cream Soda and Fizzy Pop. This one was really good. Um, the Fizzy Pop definitely, I mean not the Fizzy Pop, the Cream Soda definitely kind of toned down the Fizzy Pop a little bit. And this scent kind of reminded me of like a big like handful of gummy bears. <laughs> <laughs> That's what this scent reminded me of. Specifically, I guess more like heavy on the lime gummy bears, but definitely like an assorted fruit. <laughs> it smells really, really good. I think I have um, some more of that in a snap bar. Um, okay, next we have... Um, I'm Cooler Than You from Birdie's Making Sense. And this is Love Spell, Sugar Plum, and Coconut Milk. This one was okay. It was kind of light. Um... I don't know why I just didn't get a great throw from it. Um, so probably wouldn't repurchase that one again, but this one was so good. This is also from Birdie's Making Sense. And um, this one's called Just Breathe. It's Peppermint Swirl Cotton Candy Eucalyptus Spearmint. Oh my gosh. I loved this one. Oh, it was fresh and soothing and sweet, and it was just delectable. I absolutely loved it. And the throw was like a medium to medium high. More on the medium side, though. Okay. Oh, this one's a long one. I have to piece two videos together, too, because my phone had cut me off. Okay. Next, we have Ava's Country Covered in Strawberry Cream Soda. This one is phenomenal. I will say this one did not perform as well for me this go-around as it did the first go-around, but it is a year old, um, coming up on a year old, but it's incredible. I highly recommend Strawberry Cream Soda. So good. Um, next we have Sea Out of the Basement by Britta's, and it was Bamboo, Aloe, and Green Clover in Black Sea. This one was about a medium throw. It smelled good. It was very, very fresh. Very fresh. Um, I think the Aloe and Green Clover was probably the strongest. A very green scent. It was really, really pretty. That would be really good for springtime again. Um, next we have Hayden Rose in Seaside Barber. I actually really enjoyed this scent. It was on the lighter side as far as throw goes, but it was a beautiful like powdery, kind of like salty sea air scent. It was nice. Um, next we have Ava's Country Covered in Citrus Linen H2O. 
Woohoo, you guys, this one is a powerhouse. And I still have one more bar of this from last year that I had purchased. Um, so strong. This is a scent that when you cook fish or you cook something with garlic or something like that and you don't want it lingering in the air, this is the scent that you put in. Or this is the scent that you put in before you start cleaning and it helps motivate you to clean. Okay, last one and it is a death before decaf by um, Empire Alchemy. This is one of my favorite scents. It's Cafe Vienna, Peppermint Vanilla, and Pink Sugar Cookies. You guys are missing out if you have not if you have not had um, a coffee scent from Empire Alchemy, I highly recommend them. They're so good. They throw so well. And the blends are perfection and interesting and just like diverse. Love it. The only other thing I have here to show you today is a wallflower that I had um, put into the outlet here. And I don't think I talked about it before. But anyways, it's actually right underneath this table in cereal and cartoons. And it is toasted cinnamon, crunchy cereal, cold milk, and sugar crystals. I can't remember if I showed this to you, so I'm showing it to you again. <laughs> um, and then I did replace my other wallflower by the front door, and that one's in, I think it's called Rainbow Confetti? And I think that one smells like Fruity Pebbles and, like, confetti cake or something? Anyways, so those are the two wallflowers that I have going in on my house right now, so... All right, guys, thanks so much for staying with me if you're still here. I understand if you're not. <laughs> And if you're not, you're not listening to me right now. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of all this trash and I will hopefully be back to do another one of these videos in a couple weeks, I'm assuming. So um, I still need to do some more What Wax Worked videos. So stay tuned for those and um, we will talk again soon. All right, guys, have a good night. Bye.